All right, this is the seventh video, but it's the sixth step, right? Uh, this is promos. Now, this is the big mistake I was making for years. I made this mistake. You want to go, I always knew about promos and swap offers and, uh, you know, things like that, but I never knew where to put them or how to really do them. And this is my biggest tip here is they go on your, on your thank you pages. It's the, it's a huge tip. Um, you want to give this an offer that is irresistible is, is the best offer that you can do, right? To get them to buy more. So um, what is a swap offer? You want to uh, contact info or purchase, they get what, right? So what are they going to get? Buy this now and get this offer. Fill out this form now and get this offer. This can be a physical item, special information, or other people's stuff, right? So get really, really creative. If you're a gym, you can do, um, you know, some body spray, right? Some cologne, a shower towel, a free, if it's um, a special a physical item, you, if you have a tanning bed, you can say, you know, three tanning bed sessions if you sign up this week, uh, if you, or if you give us your email address. If you're a yoga studio, yoga mats are an obvious, Obvious play yoga blocks, um, sweat towels if you've got hot yoga, you know, physical items, just whatever you can do. If you are, um, you know, a car dealer and you're doing tires, I've been using tires a lot, you could do the foam spray. Uh, pizza places, garlic cheese bread all day long. Order, order a large pizza, you know, get half off garlic cheese bread. I, I fall for that 100% of the time, as you can tell. Um, so... Special info, this can be white papers, right? Give, and this is good for special info. I generally say, I'm gonna trade you this special information for your contact information, right? Give me your contact information and I will give you this special information. This is white papers. For me, data centers, web hosting, uh, building funnels, building websites, all those things, it comes in really handy, right? Uh, get this white paper on proper backup procedure, all right? And we'll walk through the three steps of the, the, the three, two, one of backups and they get all that for no charge, and then hopefully they come back and say, hey, Ken, I would love to hire you to do my disaster recovery for my company, right? That's the kind of stuff that special offers that you can give. Other people's stuff, I've never mastered this one very well. Uh, I am currently going through a process on some software, some giveaway software that we can do, that we have these um, other people's software that we can give away if they purchase something from us. So buy now and get this piece of software at no charge, right? Those tend to be a little more expensive, uh, for me at least, and for reserved for more higher ticket items that if I'm gonna go get somebody else's stuff. Um, one thing that I do, other people's stuff quite a bit, if I really, really have a target that I really, really wanna talk to and I have something special that I can offer that person, I send them a note and a bottle of whiskey or wine or a box of chocolates or something to say, hey, you know, I, I really wanna talk to you. I think I've got a special offer that would really work for you. Would you please, you know, can I get five minutes of your time to talk to you about it? That method works generally pretty well. I get about a 60 to 70% um, contact rate when I buy something, somebody a gift like that and I send it. Again, you have to reserve that for high ticket items. You can't just be sending out $100 bottles, $100 bottles of whiskey to thousands of client prospects hoping that somebody calls you back and buys your product. Um, but if you do it strategically, it works really well. So. That's kind of how I use other people's stuff. And on that, I'm saying, I'm not even, I'm going, a, you know, before I'm sending it to them and saying, hey, I would love to have a conversation with you. So I'm giving it to them, creating value for them in exchange for hopefully I get a phone call, right? Now, where do you offer these things? You offer them in the sales process, on the page, order now, right? This is your call, this is right above your call to action. Do this thing now and get this extra thing but you really define that and you give them that checkout after the sale, right? So you tell them they're gonna get it, they go ahead with your purchase, and then after the sale is when you want to give them that extra promo. And on that extra promo, you wanna have up sales and down sales. On the thank you page, I made this mistake for so long and I can't believe how dumbfounded I was when I made that, this mistake or when I learned this stupid little trick. My entire life online, and I've been doing this for a very, very long time, I thought that whenever I got somebody to the thank you page, that my job was done. 
right? And as an operator, I was absolutely correct. But as a marketer, I was way wrong because when they're on the thank you page, that's when your audience is the most captive. They just bought your product, they're on the thank you page, they're probably learning how to use your product. And if you have ancillary services that are available for them to purchase right then and there, they've just bought, you've got them in a buying pattern, they're gonna buy again. A big percentage of them are gonna go ahead and buy stuff from the thank you page. It is huge. It will, just adding offers on your thank you page can increase your revenue on new sales by 10, 20, 50% pretty easily. So please start thinking about those thank you pages and adding up sales and down sales on those thank you pages. I know it's hard to come up with offers and different things like that, but take the time to think about it. It's worth it. It absolutely is. Thank you for your time today, folks. And that's it for this little segment. Again, if you'd like to work with us, let us know. Happy to go through all of these sheets with you. Um, and, and help you with this process or do this process for you or just coach you along the way. It doesn't really matter to us what we're, how we're helping you. But I hope that this series of videos has cleared some things up for you on what our funnels and what the process is. And again, clicksandbricksacademy.com. You're gonna have all these for download and they're fillable PDFs so you can use them at your will. Again, these are to help you build your say, online sales process. This could be just a landing page that you're gonna send traffic to somehow. Google ads, Google words, whatever, or you can use this entire method too to create an ad to drive traffic to a landing page. But if you're doing that, again, the landing page and the, and the online traffic generator need to be uh, consistent with each other. You can also take all of these methods for a billboard, right? Headline, overcome objections with your bullet points, and then drive them to a URL. If you're gonna do that, make sure you have a very, very easy to remember URL. Right? Don't put your URL on billboards that's hard to remember or hard to spell. Right? I know that I'm dealing with a company right now and they're, in their name it's concierge. And I don't know anybody, I, I can't spell concierge off the top of my head. I gotta Google search it and then, and then spell check it. So um, it's a challenge, right? So it's okay to come up with other URLs that point to landing pages outside of your company's brand just like this one, right? Clicksandbricks.tv is our main website. But for all of this stuff, we go to clicksandbricksacademy.com. And really, that's all I got for you today. Get to work.